clearly there's a lot of hype around APIs. It's more than hype. We've got people in the room that are, that are, that are adopting and using. Are they really a big deal? They're the fundamental building block, right? And so when, when you think back probably to the business justifications that were written to have a website or the business justifications that were written to uh, you know, develop the first mobile app, you think about what a waste of time that was. Of course you had to have a web presence or of course you have to have a mobile app. So, so the digitization which is happening in, the in your clients is actually driving more interactivity and then of course is driving the need for API adoption, et cetera, which yeah. will facilitate that interactive exchange of yeah. information. What we look at here is where can we add incremental value that the API is actually doing something besides just delivering transactions and, and you're doing a net communication. New capabilities like for example with us for real-time payments. Real-time payments, the fundamental of that service is that you're making transactions in real time. API as a channel proposition fundamentally takes us to a different mindset paradigm. So as we are looking at legacy services, when we are looking at re-engineering, you know, the good old methodology of doing everything yourself and re-engineering the entire back office, which takes forever, uh, could be replaced by combining best-of-breed services with your partners. API is your channel strategy, right? it, it, it really is. It, it is, and from a retail bank perspective, it's your branch strategy. It's your digital branch strategy. Think about it very simply as just using an example for Swift with GPI, right? So if we API enable GPI as a service from a banking institution perspective, then the consumer, the consumer of that data, whether it's a corporate or another financial institution, can aggregate all that data across all their providers, and they don't use that bank's proprietary mm. dashboard anymore to be able to see the tracking of their transaction. What API does is it bridges the gap yeah. so that the potential is phenomenal. I think we are just scratching the surface. We are at the start of the journey. And, and I guess some of that leads into the pace of change, the, the drive of the regulation. This is driven solutions which, um, you know, in different jurisdictions, for example, even in different geographies, Functionality, which does very, pretty much the same thing, but is exposed in a different way. And that just adds complexity for those that, as you say, are dealing with multiple banks. In the space of APIs, I mean, I, I can't stress enough. I think velocity is the single largest uh, important thing. A lot of the time, APIs are seen as an IT project. They're funded as an IT project. And really, we try to push our customers to think about APIs as a product and a channel.